Hey everybody, Jason here. So I'm out at Massasauga Provincial Park in Ontario, Canada. I'm gonna spend a bit of time checking out the park. It's back country. I've never been here before. I'm heading further up north. This was kind of halfway to where I'm heading and I thought, you know, break up the drive, check out somewhere new, try hammock camping for the first time. So I packed along my hammock and yeah, we're gonna give that a shot. Okay, so hammock is up and I sat in it once, held me. I put the fly on it, the tarp, and I think it's good to go. Um, I'll show you what I've done, so I'll put it behind me. So you can see, basically, I've tied the hammock off to, in between two trees. I used, the hammock came with some, uh, some straps, so I used the straps at that is said to protect the tree. I can see it protecting the tree. So use that. Uh, tied the rope from the hammock to the straps and then the fly is on a different line itself. So that's the fly that came with the, the hammock from Hennessy. Anyway, I'm exhausted. It's a long drive, day in the sun, fresh air. I think kind of regardless I'm gonna sleep well in that thing tonight anyway I gotta find a spot to hang the food bag I've got to gather up some firewood um, yeah then probably cook dinner I'm guessing it's probably four or five o'clock by now so time to get going
still too hot so yeah last night went pretty good um, really nice night so you know the weather was good didn't have to worry about anything like that there were wolves calling at one point and I wanted to record them but by the time I got to my recorder they had moved on I woke up a few other times, truthfully, mostly because of getting used to the hammock. That and I have an earache. But, uh, yeah, hammock was good. I have to get used to it. Security-wise, you know, I thought that I'd feel like bear food, truthfully. I was so tired 
by the time I got in there. Yeah, it was just time for sleep. And, uh, and I woke up a few times, you know, the, the wolves and a few other times just trying to sort out how to be comfortable in the thing. But all up, it's not bad. I packed my down bag and it's good to negative four, negative five. So at the start of the night, yeah, I didn't need it. It was beside me. I was boiling and, uh, well, not boiling, but I was warm. If I put it on top of me, I was boiling. So, um, so most of the night I didn't even bother. And then when I did, I just pulled it over top of me. It's a little tricky in there because things move around a bit more, you know, the ends are still up, you know, I'm trying to learn to sleep diagonally so I lay flatter, but, uh, yeah, that'll, I'll need to get used to it or train myself to do that. As far as the rest of the day goes, you know, last night I saw a bass swim by, so I think I'm going to try a bit of fishing. Um, probably catch and release. I don't think that I'll eat anything. Um, we'll see. We'll see how I feel, but if I catch anything, release it. Yeah, I think for the most part, I'm just going to relax. I brought the mandolin along, so I'll probably play some tunes later, do a bit of fishing, explore, maybe explore this lake, maybe head out into another lake. We'll see. I've got a conserved battery. I'm at a, I've lost a bar already, and this is actually my second battery on the camera. And the trip, well, although I'm only gonna be here one more day, I'm going up further north for another two days. So I need to keep an eye on battery power. So we'll see what all I film. Yeah, I'm just going to relax.